Are you tired of absolutely destroying your circle pad? Are you tired of straining your fingers, yearning to play Smash Brothers 3DS effectively, and in the process of doing so, absolutely destroying your 3DS in the first place? Well, my friends, there is absolutely no problem with that, and there's actually a new solution for it. So, now modders, unspecified, I don't know exactly who created this method, but um, there's a couple of modders out there who managed to make an amazing discovery, or rather an amazing invention, that allows you to use your GameCube controller with your Smash 3DS. And it's a pretty amazing thing to see on camera. So let's take a look at the video itself. Props go to um, Deku Nukem who um, uploaded this. This is actually pretty cool. I discovered this on Reddit. Reddit's amazing. So, I mean, right now we're just gonna go through the video. I'm gonna probably fast forward a little bit just so you guys can see the main points of it. But um, the gist, as you know by now, is the fact that you can use your GameCube controller. So there's a little circuit board there and he has it connected to a USB hub and to an adapter for the GameCube. So, as you can see, he's controlling the goddamn 3DS with his GameCube controller. And, I mean, if you do play Smash, whether it's competitive or casual, you understand the importance of having a GameCube controller to play this game. It's pretty much one in one with it. And, you know, the controls of the 3DS, well, I feel like they're not that bad if you get used to them. They're still bad enough to where you definitely want a GameCube controller over it. And look at that, he's controlling the thing with the GameCube controller. It's crazy. Great invention. I don't know if the C-Stick is integrated, integrated that way. I doubt the C-Stick is integrated because there's really no functionality for that. Where is it? This is actually going to be a difficult one to figure out, but um, yeah, C-Stick integration doesn't look like it's there. I wish he would have used it in this video so we could potentially see if that could be a thing, but sadly, no, there's not going to be any more information for that. So um, the C-Stick is a question. I know a lot of people use the C-Stick for some goddamn reason. I've never been a C-Stick user myself. I mean, come on, just, you, you can hammer the smashes out really fast in your own hands. Like, come on, just hammer them out. Hammer, hammer, hammer. But I mean, as you can see here, he's also playing um, um, the Ocarina of Time with this 3DS controller. So it's not just with Smash, it works with anything. It's basically just um, mapping the buttons to certain buttons to be controlled by the 3DS. So, I mean, it's relatively simple coder stuff. I mean, the guy in the video, at one point he explains how simple it is to set up something like this. And, uh, you know, I mean, these guys, they don't understand that they're already deep into this shit. So of course it's simple for you. But for people like me, this is looking like, this is looking like um, rocket science right now. So, hmm. Is he controlling the touchscreen with the stick? Yeah, so look at that. He has like a little code going on and all that. Fully customizable button mapping. And here's the crazy part. So he said the total cost in parts for all this stuff is $12. See description for schematic and source code. Now, oh, so, okay, so it was Deku Nukem who created this. So um, props to you, man really amazing but I mean what's even more amazing is that when I saw this last part that said the total cost in parts was $12 I can't lie man I got a little bit excited because you know that, that's pretty damn cool the fact that you can create something like this which is so effective which can mean so much I mean this guy could potentially maybe he can make like an adapter or something or you know mod DS's that will actually be able to do this kind of thing excuse me 3DS's and you know actually make a little bit of profit for it I mean who who here would pay to have the ability to use a 3DS with their 3D. I mean, excuse me, to use a GameCube controller with their 3DS, you know what I mean? I'm definitely raising my hand on this one. Um, this looks great. In fact, as soon as I saw this video, I was looking for a link as to where we could possibly get our 3DSs modded. Now, I don't know how well this would work with my capture card, so I probably wouldn't want to mess with that considering that they come from two different sources, but I mean, still, I would definitely spend money on this as long as it's not a crazy amount, you know what I mean? If it's a realistic asking price, considering that this all costs $12, I mean, come on, maybe like pay 40 or 50, I don't know, I mean, I'm being modest here, but um, this looks crazy, man, and I'm hoping that this guy goes the next step with it and maybe makes this something that can be done for consumers on a consumer basis, you know, that would be amazing. I mean, the more support this guy's video gets, I guess the more, you know, motivation he'll have to try to figure out some way to make this available to a wider audience, you know? And I would love to see that happen. I'm surprised Nintendo didn't think to do that bullshit themselves, you know? Like, why don't you freaking make an adapter for the 3DS to somehow work with the 3DS controller, I mean, excuse me, with the um, GameCube controller, because, you know, at the end of the day here, they already know that Smash is pretty much unplayable on anything else, so... GameCube controller, man. Come on, let's go. Um, but Duku, Deku Nukem, I'll definitely keep up with this guy. I'll keep you guys up to date. 
as to um, what can happen with this and where it will be in the future. So if you want to know more about this, definitely stay subscribed, and I'll be I'll be trying to put this information as fast as possible out to you dudes. Um, and I'm definitely going to keep on top of Deku myself too, because I would love to get my hands on some peripheral like this, which can do it really easy. So um, I'm looking forward to it. But um, also, it would be interesting if he could somehow map it to the, like Deku. A, a, a tip I have for you right now, all 3DSs have an infrared port, so maybe if you could somehow map it to the infrared port, that would be amazing. Although I would be screwed because, you know, my infrared port is replaced with a capture card USB hub, so I would be screwed. But I mean, if you could somehow make this hook onto the infrared port, because you know, doesn't Nintendo have a lot of peripherals for the 3DS that do hook up to the infrared? If he could hook up something like that, then he's got a winner. This could sell, baby, this could sell. But um, hey, that's all the advice you're getting from me. You know, I, I don't give out the shit, that shit for free. Well, actually, I do. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.